Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and today we are doing a review of the True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup Foundation from L'Oreal Paris. Now this is my second day using this. I used this for 14 hours yesterday doing a really good stress test on it. So let's go ahead and get into this review. I'm not afraid of... Okay, you guys, so this is a foundation that I purchased from Walmart. It was $10.97, and it's a pretty decent price. You get, like, a good amount of product in here. It comes with uh, 1.0 fluid ounces, or 30 milliliters, and I have the shade W12 Porcelain Light Ivory. So, for this porcelain, that's usually my skin tone, and this is the lightest shade that they had available, but it is still dark for me. So, either I'm either, like, ridiculously pale, which I know I kind of am, but this is a really good foundation. Um, I do like the coverage of it. It's not full coverage. I think it's ridiculous to even believe that you can get a full coverage foundation for $10. Um, but I really do like this foundation. The colors, it says warm on it, but just, I assume because it's the lightest one, it wouldn't be so yellow-based. Uh, I think if you have porcelain skin, you're probably not going to be yellow-based. I'm a pink base, and it really does not match me that well. It makes me look kind of olive -y. It is too orangey for me, but if I blend it out enough, it's okay. So, building up this foundation to try and get a real good coverage. The coverage is decent, I would say that. Um, one layer just isn't good enough for me. I like to apply two layers of foundation. And the test for me of, like, what is a good coverage foundation is, like, there's a little spot. I have concealer on it now, but on the side of my cheek, and that's when I cover that side of my face, I realize how good the coverage is considering how bad it covers the spot. And this did a really good job. The second time around, it did cover a lot better. However, it did cake up a little bit. If you want to get like a close up of my face, um, it kind of, this foundation kind of sinks into my smile lines, and then it kind of caked up around my nose area. Um, but honestly, I still like it. it. My skin looks a little fake when you get really up close to it, but I still think it looks nice from far away. The coverage is nice. It doesn't, like, give a good glow to it, but it's very matte. However, you know, going throughout the day yesterday with my 14-hour test of it, it didn't get very oily. The only part that kind of got oily was, like, right here and on my tip of my forehead, but that usually gets oily anyways. So just a little bit of blotting paper, and that fixed that right up. And the coverage stayed throughout the day. Nothing kind of, like washed away or anything like that. It's really good coverage um, with the two layers that I had on. My biggest complaint with this is that it's too warm and it does not come in cool toned skin tones. So like I said I'm pink based and it's just a warm tone is not going to match me and this is the lightest shade they had. They only had like eight foundation colors and porcelain to me does not mean warm based so I don't know how you're going to make a warm based porcelain foundation. Um, but I really, really do like the coverage. And it has SPF in it, so those of us who are, like, frightened of the sun don't have to worry about that. And it's SPF 20. I really like that. It gives a good amount of foundation. It is a good coverage foundation, but I think I will be sticking to my, like, regular foundations, like the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Glow. And then, like, a MAC Studio Fix or Pro Longwear foundation. This just isn't up there for me, but it is good to use on, like, a normal everyday kind of day. I just wouldn't go out, like, to like, a really big day with it on because I don't feel like it's the best coverage you can get or the best as far as matching your skin tone. So it says True Match, but it really didn't match for me. It didn't oxidize or anything to a different color either. It's just kind of warm for my skin tone. Um... But I feel like maybe if you are cool toned or warm, I mean, not cool toned, if you're warm based, if you have more like a glow, you know what I'm saying. If you have this skin tone, you know what I'm saying. Um, it'd be better for you, but just for my personal usage, it's just not there for me. But it does look pretty nice today, I will say that. So thanks you guys, I hope you enjoyed this little review. I know it's kind of like my personal opinion more than like a solid review for anybody, but I will be actually using this on a lot of clients because I think a lot of them have better skin tones for this than me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, I forgot to mention, when I use my beauty blender to apply this, a lot of products soaked into my beauty blender. Like, I've messed up my eyebrow after I did my foundation, powdered and set it and everything, 
And um, I use my Beauty Blender to kind of wipe away the excess errors that I have on my eyebrows and wipe away the product. And this just had like a super ton of foundation just sitting inside of it. So I really have to wash that Beauty Blender now. It soaks up a lot of the foundation. Um, maybe it's because it's so liquidy. Don't know. It just soaks in my Beauty Blender a lot and I thought I'd mention that. So that's my little review. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I put out five a week. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. Bye, guys.